Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. All right. Well, thank you so very, very much to both of you for joining me here in, da- in Dallas, Texas. Leif, we're going to talk about, I heard, a World Heart Smart Day. What does that mean? Uh, World Restart a Heart Day is a global initiative um, wh- whose goal is to increase awareness of bystander CPR. Um, you, you know, uh, cardiac arrest is the leading cause of death in the United States, and, and more than 350,000 arrests ha- happen outside of a hospital setting. So um, World Restart a Heart Day is a way to increase awareness of hands-only CPR so that more people will engage in this life-saving technique. As we talk about uh, uh, saving people's lives, Leaf. What can this this day of recognition bring to those people that want to know more? So I think that what it can bring to people, bring to folks that really are invested in increasing recognition, is the fact that um, this is accessible for bystanders, for routine folks that are just going about their daily lives. They have an active role to play in a response to a cardiac arrest in the field. So it's getting out of the mindset that they're just bystanders, that they have an active role, and they can actually have a powerful influence on whether someone lives or dies. I'd like to know if, Laurie, if how many people you think can benefit from uh, having someone available to uh, provide care on site instead of waiting for, um, you know, uh, professionals to get there. So we can increase survival by two to three times just by following two easy steps, the first of which is calling 911, and the second of which is pushing hard and fast in the center of a chest to the beat of a familiar song. Historically, people have used uh, staying alive as, as, a, as a song that they knew, but for you know our younger, more modern generation, something like Just Dance from Lady Gaga. So it, it is an opportunity to save lives. I'm talking to my guest today about Restart a Heart Day. And if you want to know more, we're going to give you some uh, place to go at the end of our conversation. Leif, why do, why do we need to, once again, why do we need to know more about this? You know, people say, oh, I'm just a, a you know, I work in a department store. I'm a computer person. Why do we, they need to know more? So I think, you know, the, the why comes from what data tells us. And in public health and health care, it's always important to follow sound data when it comes to having an appropriate response to areas that could use some help. In this case, less than half of folks that go down with a cardiac arrest in the field will actually receive bystander CPR. And that's even worse for certain communities like uh, ethnic minorities, children, and women. So it, it bears a very important important uh, uh, burden on, on the public that this becomes something that is addressed in a holistic manner. Um, and I think like Dr. Scott was saying, if, you know, if we go through uh, the process of improving the training rates, improving folks' comfort level, improving the likelihood that they will respond, we can improve the survival by two to three times for those folks when CPR is administered in that critical window between when a first responder is called and when, when they arrive on scene. I want my audience to know that Lee states he's the acting chief medical officer of the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. And Dr. Laura Herrera-Scott, she's the medical clinical operations for Anthem. Dr. Scott, um, tell us about the uh, uh, plan to double bystanders uh, CPR by 2020. Sure. So six years ago, the Anthem Foundation partnered with the American Heart Association to educate um, the importance of hands-only CPR. And again, as was mentioned, the idea behind this campaign was if you know how to do it, you'll be more comfortable in engaging um, and providing hands-only CPR. And so the goal in, in partnership with the American Heart Association is to increase the rate of bystander response to 62 percent by 2020. Thank you so very much. I want to thank you both for joining us. Uh, Leif, where can they go online and get more information and get more involved? Sure. So you can go online to get more involved at cpr.heart.org backslash hands-only CPR. 
I want to thank you both for being here and talking to my audience, and I'm sure this will make a difference in their lives. Have a great day. Thank you. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show, broadcast on radio and television, and this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to MyPhonePouch.com. Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, host of the Valder Beebe Show. I have used Credit Help USA, the credit restoration company that's bonded and state certified. When you become a client of Credit Help USA, you become eligible for a set of stainless steel cookware from Credit Help USA and the Valder Beebe Show. Get your credit straight today. Visit CreditHelpTX.com Click on the Valder BB Show icon and get started living life divinely. <laughs>